guys, we are back here again with another episode of Elite Fishing, and today I'm going to go over what I, um, what I got. I went to the Bellows and got some stuff, I'm just going to go over what I got from there, and why, and, yeah. And, but I also do want to make some quick shoutouts, I want to make a shout out to Fisherman Nick, go follow, go subscribe to him, and Fish Perfect, and my last one is Fishing Goat. Um, they're good buddies of mine, and they have helped me with some fishing stuff, and I hope you do all this. So, thank you to them, and let's get straight into the video. So, first thing I'm going to go over is what is on the pole. Now, the pole I actually got, too. I'm going to be going over the pole, as well as the bait on it, um, and all the baits. But, it's not a lot of baits, it's just some baits that I was excited to get. So here, this is a chatterbait, bladed jig, whatever you want to call it, um, bluegill pattern, right there, the elite, elite one, um, I like chatterbaits, I love them, I've never actually tried this, the bluegill pattern or anything, so I'm excited to use that, but on the, for the trailer, I do have a fluke, and that is another thing that I got, I like flukes on the back of them because of their tail and the way that they would swim and everything and I feel like that would just work better on chatterbait. Okay, next up we're gonna go we're gonna go over these hooks. There were four of them that came in this package and they're meant for a bait that I'm gonna you know I'll show you the bait first just to make sure that you know what it is. It is a white swim bait. I like these because of the tail and everything. And I'll give you a, it is a Cabela's series, um, competition series. It's um I mean, really when I saw these it wasn't it was recommended to me by one of the workers because that's what he was using. He said, So I'm using you should try it out. So I got these and I think these look pretty good for bed fishing and I I'm really excited about bed fishing this year. So if you guys don't know what bed fishing is, it is when um, bass, bass, they, do, they get on their beds and they're like, they're just protecting their eggs and well, mostly the males on the bed and they're protecting their eggs and the male are smaller. So you might not catch a lot of quality, but you might catch a lot of quantity if you can, if your pond or lake is clear enough to see the beds. Okay, now here are the, hooks. They're one eighth ounce uh weighted hooks. They are they are weighted and they they're swim bait hooks so they have the screw on top. There we go. And I like the size of these just because of the way that I can just the size of most of my swim baits are about the size of those so I can put those hooks on Really anything that I have. Lastly, one of my little tools is a or um flukes, the ones that I had on the back of this. Actually, no, I have one more thing, but flukes and these are Cabela series fishermen go to series. There they are. I like the color of these because I, they resemble a shad, and you know, in this time. Well, when I go fishing, they're going to be on the chat. So, I may go fishing. It just depends. Um, soon. But, okay, so this is, this is my final thing. This is what I'm most excited about. Um, this is my favorite brand of spinning reel. It is a Fluger. It is a fluger. Um, it is a, it is pretty big. So if you're asking me why, um, I don't know. It was actually just a really good deal. There it is. Um, okay, there it is. It is a Cabela's rod. I am eight, seven foot, medium heavy. Um, 
this reel is a it is a if I can find it gear ratio is five the two to one um and that's mostly what I'm looking for and I chose this one just because and I know that this bait might be a little heavy for it I mean, it's actually a pretty light uh, chatter bait but there's that and here's the whole rod uh, I, I got this one just because of how it could handle bigger baits as it's a spinning rod and I just need one of these so that I could like so I don't have to go like full out heavy if I wanted something in between like a small jerk bait or a small crankbait or something like that this is what I would go to um if you guys don't have a if you guys have ever been in a situation like me I actually broke my other fluger. Well, it's not broke. I dropped it in a creek, and then when I got back out, it was kind of all rusted. So, uh, yeah, that kind of sucked. But I got another one, and it's perfect, and I really like it. And that's really all I have to go over with you. And I might do another video today. Um, I don't know. But do comment down below what videos you want to see, uh, any challenges you want to see anything like that, so, bye.